One of the things I like to do is to try out new platforms. This is Sierra Charts, and this the strategy that is showing up in this chart is the gap fill and reverse for crude oil. I have that strategy available in Sierra Charts. It is C++, and these are some of the trades that's taken recently. No trades today. There was a, a trade in Brent crude uh, currently that's still trading, and I'll show you that in a little bit in TradeStation. I don't believe I have data yet for Brent and Sierra, so I'm just trying this out, and you can see uh, see the results. One way you can, I want to show you how to set this up, and I want to show you how to back test it. So to set this up, if you don't have this strategy on the chart, what you do is you right click on the chart, you select studies, and this is something that I have to send you. So you'll have to sign up for this, I'll have to enable your license, it's a DLL, um, and so I have instructions. So if you have Sierra charts, you uh, follow the instructions that I send you, and I'll license you, and then you'll be able to add a custom study, and you see capstone gap fill in reverse, and you click on it. You click select add. I'm gonna say cancel because it's adding it twice. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that. And so um, the settings. Click on settings. And these are some of the settings. We made the target really high because we don't have a target in this. You can do that if you want on your end. And this is based on Eastern Standard Time. So you need to select apply. Um, you also need to go to the chart and you go to chart chart settings and you want to go under um, custom session time 9 a.m. to 14.29.59 and you also then want to go to advanced settings and adjust tool values to tick size you want to do a continuous features contract volume based rollover back adjust and time zone is New York time zone and let me take a look if there's any other additional settings. There's no additional settings. You want that custom session? You want that that rollover? And the current month that is on here is CLU7, September 2017, crude oil. And make sure you use the settings that I have here. Uh, open. It, you can do uh, open, high, low, close if you want, or candlestick bars. It doesn't matter. But that is the settings. And you can see the um, strategy signals. I might want to change the preferences so I can see those a little better. But you see um, the, the dash lines and the solid lines. And the dash line is the beginning of the day, and the solid line is the start of when it starts taking trades. And for example, if there's going, if it's set up for a short trade, you'll see a red sideways arrow. And if it's set up for a, I'm going to scroll back on this. Set up for a long trade, you'll see a blue sideways arrow. And if it's a long trade, you'll see this bar underneath. Uh, you'll see the, the vertical line is when you start trading it. We don't trade this in the first hour and a half of the custom session that starts at 9. We wait till 10.30 to take trades. And that's where the, the solid blue line is. And then it buys at the uh, blue, blue bar if it's a long trade. Here's another one. A long trade setup. There's a gap up. Um, after this blue bar, we'll take dips below this blue bar. And there was no trade on there. The setup... The, the setup based on the uh, open to close was there, but the trade did, the market did not trade low enough to take the trade. Now here is a short trade. And I'm going to expand that. So the gap down, you have a setup here, red arrow, potential short trade. Um, the red line is where you short it, but you don't short it until uh, 10:30 based on our settings. So our settings is not trade until 10:30 at any price above this red line. So we shorted it. It had a, um, you see there, I'll zoom in a little bit. So you see the, the, the setup is here, red red arrow, rally, come back, and then past the blue bar, it rallies up to the red line again, and it's short. And so here is the trade, how it worked out. It went for us, and then it went against us, and then ultimately this trade got uh, let's see, it stopped out. You can see that I'm just scrolling here. Yeah, we got stopped out on this trade, or ex actually we exited um, at a at the end of the day with a loss on that trade. So you can see that shorted it there and exited it there. And um, to also one thing you want to do to get this trading enabled when you first load the strategy it won't be won't be enabled. But to enable it, you right click and you select Study Settings. And you select, actually you, do, you don't do that. Hang on a second.
Actually, you, you right click and you go down and make sure that your steady gap fill and reverse trading enabled. You click on that to make sure it's enabled. And so now I'm going to show you how to back test this. In order to have it live, you have to stay connected. CON is connected right now. In order to back test it or run the market replay, you have to disconnect. So I'm going to disconnect it. And then I'm going to go to trade. And then I'm going to say auto trade system bar based back test. And so I want to say yes. And enter bar processing increment. That's just um, every 250 bar, bars that gives you a chance to, to pause or to stop the back test. I don't want to stop the back test, so this number doesn't really matter. It could be 250 million bars because I'm not going to stop the back test. I'm just going to let it go. Um, but if you want to keep a lower increment in case you want to pause or stop the back test, you can do that. So select OK. And now it's going to, um, it's back testing right there. See, back testing 1% complete. Press escape to cancel. And so it's going, going, going. It'll take a while. So while it's doing that, I'm going to scroll back over here and take a look at um, one of the things I've found in Infinity, uh, Infinity Brokerage Sierra charting is this market depth. I've talked about market depth in the past. I don't trade on market depth. I've had some indicators and I've looked for ways to back test and have not found a solution for market depth trading yet. I'm still working on it. Many of these strategies are multi-year projects. And so what you see with Infinity is um, ask volume minus bid volume. That's the difference. So there's uh, 794 more bids than asks. So you see this is the total ask volume plus bid volume. Um, and this is for every increment. This is three minute charts and then it shows the ask volume and then it shows the bid volume and I'm not connected right now so you can't see it updated. I disconnected for the back test and then you see the high low range of that bar and so they have historical market depth data and so this is one of the things I'm looking at um, is to putting my strategies in Sierra charts and then also using um, Sierra charts uh, historical market depth data to back test and discover market depth trading strategies. So it was, it was, it was good to find that uh, there is a platform that has historical market depth data to some extent. And so um, I like NinjaTrader as well for this because you can replay the market depth data, um, but it doesn't let you back test. Um, you have to run, run a new replay every time you change the parameters. Or you can do what I've discussed in the past is write all the data to a text file and then uh, load the text file to back test, but this is a new way to do it, and I really like the setup. I really like these indicators, um, indicators here in CR charts through Infinity Brokerage Firm. So that's that's an update on on this. It's 15%. I'm going to pause the video, um, and then then I'll come back to it um, at the end of the video, and we'll look, take a look at the results. All right, the back test is completed. Next to next thing you do to take a look at the back test is go to trade, trade activity log, um, and it pulls up this window. You need to make sure that you have this symbol if you're in sim mode, and you know this account. If you have another symbol, it will not show up. And so here, and also I'm looking at the trade statistics tab. There's trade activity. There's trade statistic. There's trades. But trade statistics is what I'm looking at here, and it's going back about four years. And so, 14880. I have not compared these results to the other platforms to see how closely it matches yet. Uh, but this is this is what I have. What I ha I'm showing you what I have right now. Big difference between long and short. Um, this strategy works so much better on the long side that uh, we, we want to take a look at trading it differently on the short side. Um, you get the total results are 16,300 with a 6180 drawdown, and on the long side you get um, oh that was the equity peak. The long side you get 12,660, um, and the max drawdown is 2,800. So that's a really nice uh, total profit to drawdown. And on the short side you get 2,220 to 5,680 drawdown. And then let's look at the average trade profit. 79.12 on the long side versus 13.62 on the short side. So I need to verify some of these results, but I have this available if you want to help.
test this on your side, let me know. I'll send you the DLL and the instructions to new um, and Sierra. And if you have Sierra and want to test this out, I'd be glad to send you a copy to test this out as I add strategies. Um, I'm just getting started on this platform, so that's why I offer some free trials on testing this out, helping me test this out, give me some feedback. And that is the update on Sierra Charts. Um, what you need, to, what you would want to do after this is press connect, and you can reconnect uh, to the data feed, and then we can go back and look at this, the even ESP here. That's downloading historical data, and then we see the current, current uh, updates. You can see my, minus 1033. This number means there's more bid. If it's negative, it's more bid than offers. I'm going back to the market depths now. Uh, before I end this video, just so we can take a quick look at this. And so you can see um, the volume weighted average price is on the right side. So some really good tools in Sierra Charts. I will let you know as I have uh, more research if I have any strategies related to these new tools.